Hear it twice. All right, start. So welcome back to our uh, our second show. He's Mario. I'm Carl, and uh, we're here to talk uh, Philly sports. Yes, we are. And uh, I guess the first thing that uh, comes up is uh, our birds are in Britain or going to be in Britain anyway. Yes, they're going to be in London for Sunday. I know the fans are there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see quite a few of them are there already. Yeah. And uh, hopefully awful. they're having a good time. I'm sure they are. I know I know several people. I know you know several people that have been there uh, or on their way going. And I'm seeing posts already where they're having a good time. London will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I'm hearing the Eagles chant, so I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure they're spreading uh, spreading the word around. <laughs> yep. So we got we got some more uh, some more injuries to talk about. One in particular um, is our big guy here, Mr. Barnett, is out for the season. So, so we're, what happened? I, I guess it was a lingering shoulder injury that required surgery. Okay. And um, so he's apparently already gone under the knife, and he's done for the season. So did something happen in the last game? Because I missed the last game. I was at the uh, I was at the Union game, so I missed the Eagles game. Did something happen during the game to promote yeah, this? Yeah, I, I think he's been I think he's been in and out. Okay, you know he's been in and out of the lineup, um, and I guess apparently you know it just it got to the point where he couldn't couldn't handle it anymore. Because well. it it just it just it. it it, it wasn't there Sunday, or at least they hadn't announced it, and then all of a sudden, you know, he's, he's you know, news broke, I guess, Tuesday, you know, that he was out and, you know, having surgery and done. and. So what does that mean for this season? Because we, we got injuries out the wazoo. Well, you're just, you're losing, you're losing key guys, you know. It's this next man up mentality is is great and everything, but I I just think we're too far down now to appreciate you know who the who the next man is. I guess uh, Michael Bennett's going to require to you know be required to play a, a whole lot more where he was just you know in and out in certain plays. He's going to be playing almost every down now. So um, they got a rookie, Josh Sweat, I believe is his name. Um, and he's going to be, you know, he's going to be thrown in there. Um, they they brought back another guy, uh, Hector. Um, so I mean, I just, I, I just don't know to what degree, you know, you can get a, a formidable pass rush, you know, that's that's going to, you know, going to help this defense out, you know, both, you know, more so, I guess, in the secondary. To take you know to get take some heat off of those guys and right. and get this get this quarterback on his on his butt, um, you know you got Fletcher Cox he's going to be you know he's going to do great things and Brandon Graham and Chris Long, you know I mean Michael Bennett certainly c creates a lot of chaos back there. Um, well, I just it sounds to me like they're going to have to do like most companies are doing now they're going to have to do more with less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell the fans that. Well, it's just tell the it's, fans. It's just the way it is. We got how many people we have out now? Uh, I, I stopped counting. That's not good. I you know it's three or four in the secondary, and you know you've you've lost you know you've lost a couple guys up front now. Um, you know, I mean, you know, poor Fletcher. He's he's playing. You know, he's playing just about every second of of every down. You know, and. I don't know. I, I just. So, do you think our offensive line has what Wentz needs to give him time to get the ball out there? Well, I mean, you know, the the game is won in the trenches. So, if you don't control the defensive line and you don't control the offensive line, you're you're never going to win. You're you're just not. It's not going to happen. Right. You know, we we need you know we need the O line as much as we do the D line. You know, the O line's got its issues as well. 
you know, uh, Jason Peters is playing with a, you know, he's pl playing with a torn um, muscle in, in his arm. You know, that could, that could go in any minute. Lane Johnson's playing on a sprained ankle, <laughs> you know. So um, this is not looking good for us. I mean, you've got a lot of you've got a lot of issues at at some very you know I mean your your lines both lines are in trouble, you know I mean you lose, you know I mean for whatever reason Wisniewski was taken out of the starting position, um, I, I so I thought I thought Wiz was doing a great job in there, you know, um, and when they're healthy that the lines as good as as good as can be right when 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 they're all together and I thought they kept. Carson pretty clean last week. I, I, you know, I thought I thought they kept him upright, and you know they they did a they did a good job. Um, <clears throat> the you know the, the the again the the pass rush, um, you know I think they they've got that under control. Um, the running backs have to do a better job picking up their guys. You know I saw more two tight end set last week, right. which which. I think is good because they need to have another guy in there who can block. Right. You know, right. kind of like the Selick Ertz days. I, I I will tell you something that just off off topic kind of. Um, there's one person who has ruined a phrase that you just said. Have to do a better job. Just <laughs> <laughs> brings me right back to that era. But you're right. They do have to do a better job because they're not doing it now. Right. And. Well, let, let's go forward to the trade deadlines coming up. So with that coming up, what do you think they can do, if anything, to make us better in case more injuries come up? Well, I, I you know, they, they're patching this, this defense together. Right. And I think if they can pick up, you know, some secondary help. Um, I don't know how, how long uh, Sidney Jones is going to be out. You know whether that's week to week, but he was he was playing some good ball. Um, Rodney McLeod's gone for the season. Um, I I think to be quite honest with you, I, I they need a running back. I, I I see that as a priority need right now. Is they but that need, that's they been need for a, a while though. They need a running back. That's you, not that's not something recent. Well, I mean, Ajay only went out two weeks ago. Yeah. So. Um, they've been piecing this thing together with Smallwood and, and Corey Clement. Um, I, they need a running back. And Darnell Pumphrey, you know, that they signed back off the, you know, off the street. He was with them. Uh, you know, he's a good practice player. You know, he might be special team guy. Um, but they need a, they need a, a running back. So if you could, if you could trade for one person, who would it be? Well, I, I think you could get somebody and not give up the farm, and he might, you know, he might be looking to come back to Philly because um, he left here kind of, you know, on a on a bad uh, on a bad note. It would have to be Lashawn McCoy. I would I, not be against that. <laughs> I know he's not, you know, I know he's got some off field issues, um, but I think if he comes back, he would, you know, he would help out this offense a great deal. Right, and he knows the system. You know, he knows Doug, and he knows, you know, that Doug likes to pass the ball. Okay. But We do have a question. Okay. Somebody wants to know, where are we getting the secondary help? Well, I'm, <laughs> it's a, it, that's, a, that's, a, that's a darn good question because the past, you know, the past few weeks, you know, Darby and, and uh, Jalen Mills have, have been getting eaten alive. Um, and I just think the help needs probably to come within first and foremost. You need to get pressure up front. You know what I mean? Let the linebackers do their job and then take a little bit of pressure off of these guys, you know, and not, you know, not bite on every, you know, on right. every pass route. Um, I know there's, there's a guy from the Cardinals that's available, Peterson, um, that's available. I don't know what it's going to cost to, uh, to get him. Um, but the trade deadline is coming up next week. Um, and, and I think, you know, there could be a move in play. You know, I, I think, you know, how he's made moves in the past um, to, to, bring in, to bring in guys to help out, whether it's short term or not. He needs to work his magic and do something. <coughs> um, 
but you know they there's you know there's probably three key positions you know if you could pick up some you know some some help in the secondary you know pick up another wide receiver right. would be would be great um a guy that's out there that I I I only heard a little bit about was um Jeremy Macklin Jeremy was 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 a serviceable receiver last year. <laughs> yes, he was. And, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I just, he, he's got to be better than, you know, what we're throwing out there. Um, and, and I just, I'm, I'm confused that, you know, at, at least give it a, give it a try. Why, why not try? If it doesn't work out, you know, it, it doesn't work out. But. Well, you can't sit and do nothing. Right. So if, you know, you're the defending champs, you got to show the rest of the league. They're not. Well, <laughs> in, in my mind, they are. They're trying. In my mind, you know, these guys are still the champs. I, I don't, they are. You know, they're they still are. the champs. I'm not saying they're not trying, but they're not. They're not showing. They're not showing up like they did last you year. You know, I, I don't. I don't know what it is. Is it heart? I doubt it's heart. No. You know, do they have a hangover? Maybe. It's very possible. Um, you know, I mean, I get rid of my hangovers in 24 hours, so uh, I don't, you know. <laughs> I, yeah, I, but you didn't spend 52 years getting to the point where you needed a no, hangover. No, but I had 52 hangovers. <laughs> <laughs> but no, in, in a more serious note, I mean, let's face it. I mean, it, it's very difficult to repeat. They've had a ton of injuries. There's, there's tons of injuries throughout the league. I mean, guys are going right. down. Guys are having horrible years. Um, and and I'll be honest with you, I, I think you know, I think they can spin this thing around. You get a win this week, <clears throat> you know, you're now back to to even. You got a bye week. You got half the season left. Right. You still got eight games to go. Okay. And so you got some division games, you know, which are important. And yes. I think if you can get get this team healthy. Add a piece or two, I think we'll be okay. So, what's your prediction for London? Um, I, I, you know, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and say that you know it's it's gonna be an easy win. The Jaguars, the the Jags have been playing horrible. You know what I mean? If I was them, I wouldn't even go. I'd, <laughs> I'd send I'd send the, the B team or something. <laughs> yeah, but but we, uh, we need a game like this, though. We do, and we had that two weeks ago against the Giants. You would have thought you would have built off of that, you know, and and you did for three quarters, and right. you just you just didn't finish the you just didn't finish the job. But I I've got them winning. I've got them winning by you know ten to fourteen points. I think you know they can they can beat up on the Jags. Um, they're not starting. You know, um, you know they're starting quarterback. Um, they've got tons and tons of problems there. Um, so I, I think the Eagles can can come home with a win, you know what I mean? Have the week off, get this get this team you know healthy, get a couple of these bodies back, um, and we'll be okay. I really do. I, I think I think the the second half's going to be better, you know, than the first half, and I think you can still go ten and six, nine and seven. Unlike last week, where the fourth quarter was just. A debacle from it, what I saw. Yeah, it was. You know, the fourth quarter was horrible. The the, the fourth quarter was it's just twenty one unanswered points. It just how it, does that happen? It just the, you know they they just played so soft, um, drove me crazy. That's probably why I still got a cold. <laughs> I, you know, I lost my voice and and everything else. Um, but yeah, I just you know, I got I've moved on. Okay, I've moved on. You know, you have to. Hopefully, they've moved on. You know, tomorrow, <coughs> tomorrow they the leave. Past. You know, they leave for, you know, for London. Right. You know, hopefully they'll, you know, have a good meal on the plane and a, and a good movie or two to watch. Maybe a good night's sleep. Good night's sleep. Because they will be traveling overnight. <clears throat> so so uh, I'm I'm hoping you know I'm hoping that Doug, you know, has the guys you know rev back up and you know they get their. They get their mojo back. All right. They need to get their mojo back. There, there, there's still a lot of good football players on this team. No, no, I'm, I'm they, not disagreeing they, you know, with you there. I mean, you know, Carson Wentz. If anybody paid notice to Carson Wentz coming off the field Sunday, he was pissed. He was. Not, oh, I can imagine. He was not happy. He didn't play well, especially you know when he, we needed him to. He was pissed. So hopefully he's determined, and turns that into. Spreading it out through all, throughout the team, 
I, you know, and we get it. we come home with a win. Yeah, I'm okay I, I just, with that. you know, I, I need to see him turn the page because I've no. I'll be honest with you, I, I could be wrong. <clears throat> I've never, I've never seen Carson pissed off like that before. Um, he, well, maybe that's what we need. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. Um, I just, you know, I just think, uh, you know, we need to, we need to get that, you know, that, that hungry, that hungry mentality back. You know what I mean, and right. and, and uh, you know, let's go play football and, and and come home with a win. All right, go birds. Go birds, and uh, we'll, we'll where's circle. all where's all the questions? Um, where's all these see. questions? Well, I got pummeled with them this afternoon. I told them to hold them for tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, Paul. Not a question, but a comment. The Jags and Eagles look similar, but have supposedly flashy defenses and anemic offenses at this point. Well, there. I mean, that's that's where this team is right now. Right. This that's exactly where this team is right now. Um, I mean, you know, you stop and think about some of these plays. They could be, they could be, two two wins. What six and. Six and one, right? You know, six and one. They could be seven and zero. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, they've played a lot of good football. They just they need have. to. They just need to play a, a full a full game. Yeah, and you know, get get this thing back on track, and and uh, you know, get get it, get the fans excited again because yeah. you well, know this year is definitely not last year. Oh, it's it's and you can't, <clears throat> you can't you can't go by last year. Last year was just something completely. I think it was an anomaly last year, but hopefully we can get back, somewhat back to where we were. Well, hopefully London, uh, you know, London does that for us. Yeah, London's calling. So, so that all was right. the song, right? Yes, it was. That was the song. <laughs> good job by you, by the way. Oh, no problem. That was a good job. You want to talk music? I can do that. I, I hear you. I hear you. So if we, you know, if we don't have any more birds talk, and I and I um, think we we covered most of it. Hold on, Greg's got. Uh, Said, so what's up, Carl? Why no push to make a big trade for Patrick Peterson or Levon Bell? <coughs> well, I think Peterson. You did say Peterson. I did, and and I think you know, I it's how he's going to have to be creative because you know I don't think you don't want to give the farm away. Right. Draft picks are valuable. You know, are you going to re-sign Bell? You know what I mean? Right. If you're not going to re-sign Bell, no, I don't want any parts of that. Okay. You know what I mean? If, if, if you're going to get him here and you're going to be able to re-sign him, different story. Right. You know, there's your, there's your stud running back for the next, you know, four years. <clears throat> as far as Peterson, I don't know what the Cardinals are going to want. You know, I'm here and, you know, they, you know, they're, they, actually, naturally they want to sell high. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I don't know if the Eagles are willing to to give up a, you know, a two, a three, you know. I mean, yeah. it's, they're not going to give him away. He's too good a player. No, he's too good a player, and I, I just, you know, it's do they have to trade him? It, it depends on you know what the GM you know is thinking right now. I know the Giants are are in the sell mode. Okay, you know they gave up one of their defensive linemen yesterday for a fifth round pick. They signed him in the off season, so. I guess you know you got to find out if you're sellers or not. If you're sellers, then you know you're going to unload. You know you're going to unload guys. So I'd love to see Peterson in, in in the secondary. I just think he would, you know, he would be that that guy that you could you could real leadership guy. Right. A good leader. You know, a guy that that can, you know, can can help those young guys out. Um, just a matter if we can do what it's going to take to get them here. So. All right. So. Maybe we'll circle back to the Eagles. <coughs> so let's move on to Sixers. Sixers. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I you know, it, it's funny because you know all you know, a lot of you know, a lot of the teams, you know, have the same problems. They're young, you know, they the Sixers now have an injury in Ben Simmons. I don't know, you know, if it's a chronic back problem or you know, just a cranky back right now. Right. You know what I mean? Whether, you know, he just needs a couple of games off, but they played no defense last night at all, you know, up in, you know, up in, in Detroit. They lost 133 to 132. 
Um, oh. So I, I, you gotta, you gotta play some defense. I mean, I know it's the NBA and nobody plays defense, but you gotta play, <laughs> you gotta play a little bit. You can't, you're not gonna win too many games giving up 130 points. No. You just, it's just not gonna happen. They're back to back. They're in uh, Milwaukee tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. What time is that game? Uh, eight. Is that eight o'clock? Yeah, probably okay. eight eight thirty, I guess. You know, in Milwaukee, and they're going up against um, you know one of our Villanova Wildcats in uh, Dante Divincenzo. Yeah, he plays, yeah. He plays Villanova. for the Bucks, so you know that's that'll be pretty exciting to see. I know we got a lot of Cats fans out there. Is he starting? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I, I would probably guess not. I know in the uh, the uh, exhibition games he was coming off the bench. I think he may have started one game. Okay. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent there. But I know he, you know, he's he's been playing well. I could probably look it up, but he's been playing too well. Lazy. But the back the back to back for them is is key. You know, I would have thought last night would have been the easier game to win going into Milwaukee. Milwaukee's three and zero. You know what I mean? They have so this lost is not yet. looking good. You know, so this this is a tough this is a tough matchup for okay. for the for the Sixers. But I don't put anything past Joel Embiid. You know, I mean, he can, nah, he's a monster. He can, he can go off yep. at, at any time. But you know, the Lakers are zero and three as well, and they've got the king. So, yeah. Well, you know, screw the Lakers. I'm not a Lakers fan. So. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh man! But the Sixers are a young squad. You know, I think Coach Brown will, you know, he'll get this figured out. And, uh, you know, they, there again, I mean, there's there's a team, you know, that went looking for help. You know, they could use a veteran guy, you know, that could, you know, show these guys, you know, the road to, to victories, you know, so. But who, this might be a rhetorical <clears throat> question, but who wants to come here? Well, I mean, you throw enough money at somebody, and you'll get you'll get a big name to come here. Do we have the money to throw at somebody? Yeah, absolutely. They got they got plenty of money. They got plenty of money. They they cleaned house and but stripped it down, and like so far, other Philly they, teams, they don't want to spend it. Well, I think when I think when the time is right, like playoff season, the end of last year, I mean, it was pretty exciting for the Sixers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was pretty exciting. Was. So uh, you've got. They said themselves they were the team to beat. And they got beat. <laughs> well, they said all the right things, though, didn't they? <clears throat> so it's 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 a it's a young team. You know, let's see how the first half goes. Right. Um, if they start to really, you know, figure this out, you know, maybe somebody will jump out and they'll be able to, you know, grab somebody, you know, at the trade deadline. You know, somebody that that at that point they if they don't have a no trade. Clause, they'd have to be traded right. there. So it's not like signing, you know, a big name free agent who really doesn't want to come here. But we'll see. Okay. So Sixers are we'll Milwaukee see. tonight at eight o'clock. Yep. Let's go. Yep. yep. So we got Sixers. we've got uh, you know, I mean three of our you know, three of our teams are, are currently playing, you know, our our uh our, our most passionate, you know, Phillies are 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 home for the season and Things are about to heat up with them because... Uh, you think? Yeah, I, I do, because once the World Series is over, you know, then you got the general managers meeting wherever they meet this year. I don't know if it's back down in Orlando. Florida seems to be the hot spot for, okay. for, for, for all the trades and all the, all the good stuff to happen. But at that point, Clentock's got to do something. <clears throat> we can't go through another offseason without making any moves. <sighs> okay. So what move do you want to make? There's there's a couple. Okay. All right. <laughs> first one, I would get rid of Oduble. Okay. So he's, he's my first. I think we ran this trade we scenario last week. We and did. Somebody we did. wanted to trade me for something and yes. you know, I yeah, flat I flat out the, yeah. <laughs> so. I flat out said no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean I, I I has he worn out his welcome here? Herrera? Yeah. Yes. Okay. In, in now you're. Just, I'm just going by me. I'm not speaking for the master. <coughs> if he has, let us know. Um, I, I I think I think he has, and and <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't know what general manager would really want him, um, unless somebody thinks they can get him straightened out. But uh, I, I I you're going to have you know the two big name free agents are going to be on the table. Right. You know what I mean. Five days after the World Series, they're out there. Yeah. They're they're available. 
So if you had your choice, if you were throwing Mario money up on the table, well, Mario's money's not not going to buy anybody. <laughs> but let's let's play with Mario's monopoly okay, money. Okay, my monopoly money. Who you who you going after? Wow, one. you get one pick. Who you who you going after? Well, okay, so there's the two, um, Trout. And Harper. Harper, of course, because even though I can't stand Harper, I don't think he would be a bad addition to our team. My first pick would be Trout. Absolutely but you, Trout. But you're going to have to trade for him. Right. You're going to have to trade for him. And are you, you willing, go, are you you willing to give up the farm? Because they're going to want... You're going to have to. They're going to want a lot of your good young pitchers. Because right. that's where your depth is in the farm system. But then you end up... As we did before, you end up building your team around one person, and that never works. So you're going to have to, I guess, take the second or third choice so that you don't have to give up the farm, and <coughs> you can build a solid team, and then hopefully get Trout later. Um, when's his, when's his contract up this year? Next year. Next year. He's so we one, still got another got year left. Year. All right. Yep. So we can't do anything with him anyway. So he's but, out. But let's just let's just say your buddy, Mr. Clintac, gets creative and is able to work is, a trade. Is he able to get creative? <laughs> well, let's just say he's able okay. to get creative. All right. You know what I mean? And you spin two or three guys off of the current roster. Okay. Along with two or three of your very high... Right. Prospects. Okay. Would you do that? At this point, yeah. I mean, the guys the guys that you're <clears throat> going to give up off the current team are not named Nola and Hoskins. Correct. Okay? They're your two untouchables. Yes. Okay? Everybody else is pretty much... Everybody else is... Here you go. Yes. So, at that point, you know, they, they pick two or three, um, you know, whether it be J.P. Crawford, Franco, O'Double... Cesar Hernandez, you know, whatever. You know, they're going to want a couple of your young pitching prospects from down on the farm that, yeah. that are that are probably top <clears throat> probably top 10 or top 15. And and are you willing to 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 give them up? And then on top of it, you know, you've got a sign trout and that's probably right. going to be, you know, that's going to be a big chunk of money. It is. It is. You know, so, so and you have to sign Nola and you have to sign Hoskins as well. Right. So, no, I mean, it's not saying it's easy because there's a lot, there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle. But if it's not Nola, I, I would be willing to give up almost any pitcher that we have. Right. I think Arietta's done. Well, I mean, he could have a bounce back year. Look at Charlie Morton. He couldn't do anything here. He got hurt, left, and and look how serviceable he was with with the Astros. Well, then that's what that's you know, going to happen. You know. We're going to get rid of Arietta. He's going to become a monster. Well, I, and I, I'm okay with keeping Arietta because he's got two more years. Right. And in today's market, you know that that money's it's it's okay. Okay. It's okay. I'm I'm also okay with and I and I already have a sore throat, so this just <laughs> this just hurts even more. That you're going to put Carlos Santana at third base and get rid of Franco. Okay. Um, not even make a run for Harper or Machado and not get either one. See, I'm, yeah. Not get either one. So. I wouldn't be upset if we didn't get Machado. I, I'm not a big Machado fan. Um, but could you see him and him and Gabe go at it? I mean, can you see, see? Can you see those it, two personalities clashing? It might be worth it just to unsheldon Kapler, <laughs> because you you know the way his mind thinks is this is how it's supposed to work, and if it doesn't work that way, he doesn't know what to do. He's all over the place, which he's shown me. But so, um, yeah, <clears throat> we do have somebody that. <laughs> Somebody that wants to trade Nola and Hoskins for Trout. Ooh, ooh. And and any other three players they ooh. want. No, I can't, I, now, I, I think I, that's I a little much. I can't do that. I can't, that is a little I much. I can't do that. So. I like the I like the <laughs> aggressiveness, but I don't, I don't... What else are you getting back with Trout? Yeah, you, that's the whole thing. You know, are, you getting, you, are you getting something else back? You yeah. Know, it's, you know? You're going to run the Bugs Bunny defense. 
Yeah, I, I no, I, I, like I said, I gotta have Hoskins and Nola are my, my, my guys to to, yeah. to build this whole thing around. Um, you know, a year ago, I thought Franco was gonna have a breakout year at third base, and I just he just for whatever reason just didn't didn't hit it off with the manager and got in the doghouse and but was see, that never able to lot. get out of. What does that that says a lot in, in in my eyes it says a lot. If he doesn't get along with the manager, how many other players are not getting along with Kapler? <clears throat> he's got so. he's got the ruler and he's smacking everybody with it. So you know, he's in charge. Yeah, it's until he's until he's not in charge anymore, he's he's gonna he's gonna say, you know, you're you're not playing. I think as long as we have <coughs> Clentock, we're gonna have Kapler. Because well, they are they are two peas in a pod. So five days after the uh, World Series, you know the free agency we'll opens up. Um, you know, hopefully we can you know we can talk about a big splash. Um, well, I, I know I know the Phillies. I know Mr. Middleton. You know would love would love to bring one of them free agents here so that we could start this whole process with yeah. the Phillies and. You know, start winning. You know, another fifteen, twenty games. Um, so, no. what do we got next? We got we got, uh, we got Flyers talk. <laughs> we got hockey. Okay, so I did watch a little bit of the the last Flyers game. Um, I Saturday it afternoon. Was. It was Saturday. Yeah, Saturday afternoon. They did. I mean, they were missing passes. It, it was. It was like a comedy of errors out there. I don't know what they were trying to do, but they weren't doing it. It's um, it's been a um. I'm trying to think what uh, they played. They played after Saturday again, right? Didn't they play? Didn't they play? My mind's my mind is shot. Was it Monday? Yeah, they played <clears throat> Monday night. They played Colorado yeah. Avalanche. Yes. Yeah. And and I thought, you know, I thought coming off of coming off of. The weekend, you know, if it, it, Colorado's a pretty good team, they're fast. They got they got probably one of the top three lines in all of hockey, and if they let this team jump out in front of them again, and get behind a goal or two, we're done. And that's exactly what happened. They got behind two nothing, and they just never, they were just never able to. You know, I mean, it, I I I talk regularly about the Flyers with with people and. There's, they're not physical with anybody. When they try to get physical, they end up hurting themselves. <laughs> and I just, I, I just, I, I'm like, you know, they're, the, the team is, 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 I finished the end of last year, they're driving me crazy, and, and, I, and I'm nine games in, and, and I'm already nuts. Oh, uh, your wife said that's it, when you lost your voice. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just, you know, it, it's, been, it's been a rough stretch for me. You know, with with coming out of the, the the Philly season, and you know, I got excited for Flyers hockey. I got excited for basketball. I got excited for the Eagles. You know, with the, you know, so it, it you it's, know, watching these losses is is it's it's hard. Yes, it's not easy. You know, but the Flyers the Flyers have some good young players. You know, unfortunately, they don't have a good goaltender. You know, that lets in a lot of easy shots. So that's a big problem. That's a big, big problem. I did, I did see that. I, I can't remember exactly what happened, but this, it was, it should have been an easy shot for him to block, and it went right by him. It's um, so, you know, this the slow. I, I just don't understand. Um, so the last couple you, of years, we've had goalie problems. It's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been a while. So, what are we not doing? Right, besides having the right person in goal. Well, we've 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 had instances where, you know, um, we drafted Bobrovsky, then the next thing you know, the big high high dollar free agent was Brizgalov, and Mister Snyder had to have the best goalie available. Right. Because we had no idea that Bobrovsky was going to turn out to be a solid number one goaltender with. With the Blue Jackets, we had we no nobody had that. We we thought he could be good. Right. You bring in Brizgalov and he becomes you know he just blows the planet up. Right. You know he's just an absolute zero. You know so you go through that whole debacle trying to figure out 
you know, what's the next move? You know, you're bringing guys like Ray Emery and rest in peace, Ray. I'm not, I'm not ripping you, buddy. You know, he passed away this off, this off season, but you know, I mean, you, you bring in a lot of these guys that their careers are over, right? You know, Brian Elliott, you know, he's, he's, he's a second string goalie. He's not a starting goalie. Okay. We've had several people here screaming to bring up Hart. Is it it time? That's the inevitable move. I just don't. Do you do it now, or do you wait till the season's over? I, I think you got to at least give them half a season before you bring them up. So do you? Well, and I, and I don't even know if Hextall is is ready to make that move. Hart's not playing every night up in the Lehigh Valley. Okay, so do you bring him up and platoon him with? No, you, no? you bring him up. He has to play. Okay. You, the kid has to play. So do you do you sacrifice the season? To no, give them the because, experience? No, because I, I just think goalies goalies are yeah, – there's a lot going on up here. That's why they wear that, that big mask and that helmet. <laughs> you got you to gotta protect them. Okay. You know what I mean? You can't ruin this kid this early. Right. You know, you, you've got to give them – you've got to give them time unless you're willing to forfeit everything. And I don't think Hextall has shown that he's willing to do that. Yeah, I, you know, I don't. The kid's young. This is this is this is not this is not amateur hockey. This right. is this is not college hockey. This is the National Hockey League. You know, these these guys belong here. Okay, so hypothetically, <clears throat> if we go through half the season and tank, right? So that what we're you call it? well, yeah. If we're you last, stole place. that word from the other team. <laughs> Okay, so we're we're in last place at the half. Then what do you do? I don't think we'll be in last place. I, I'm just I'm saying hypothetically. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be in last either. I don't like the hypothetical though. Okay, I I don't. But you made I, me the, think hypothetically with the trade for the, for baseball. So I'm well, throwing that it back was at you. that's far fetched. <laughs> that's far fetched. Come on, you have to admit it, that. You know, I'm what just I mean? saying. Oh, okay, so, so say we're not. <clears throat> yeah, we're I, not I got, having good. I, Yes, right. absolutely. At that point, yes. Bring him up. Because you got nothing to lose at that point. Except you could lose <clears throat> him if, you know, if he can't handle the losing and getting blown out. I mean, we lead the league in most goals. Right. Scored. You you, you can't let that happen to a young player. Yeah. You cannot. That's not Brian Elliott can handle that. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> I mean, I hate I'm 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 ready to bring Carter Hart up, but it has to be it has to be the right scenario. It has to be it has to be right. But what if we never hit the right scenario? No, you're going to because eventually because it's 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 one of those things where, you know, they the general manager has to see this kid play X amount of games against a higher level opponent. Okay. You know, minor league hockey, <clears throat> you know, it's so it's then, not the NHL, but it's the next step. Okay. So you get him picked up with the pace, the speed. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good young players that are in the same category that right. they're waiting to get the call as well. Right. You know what I mean? So he's gonna face he's gonna face good talent every night. So okay. Do you make him or Make him play more in the minors. Well, that's that's was my impression that he was going to play the majority of the games. But he's not. I and I haven't looked at the ratio ratio of of how many games he's played versus not played. I know the other night he didn't play for whatever reason. Maybe it was just a coincidence and he had the night off. Um, but I just need to see more of him playing. Right. Because you you got to get a read on him. You got to get. You know, you got to get 25 games under his belt, see where he's at. Right. You know what I mean. So I, I just, I just don't think Hextall's gonna, gonna make the, the quick, you know, call up. I really it, don't. Okay. So then, humor me because I'm, I'm a little stupid. If he's not really playing a lot, and you don't get to see what he's doing, why are people calling for him to come up? Well, because he's the guy. What makes him that guy if... Because he's won at every level that he's played at. Okay. He's that good. 
He's won at every level. Right. He's, you know, for, you know, he's won enough medals to, you know, to just let everybody know that he's the guy. Okay. He, and he is, he is the guy. The, the problem being, you know, making that, that jump, you know, that's a big then jump. We, because we, they, they have to figure out a way to get him on the fast track to get him in that position then. You know, and I think, you know, they, they've got him in the right spot. You know what I mean? The, the the coach there at Lehigh Valley was a former goaltender. So, you know, he's I'm sure he's working with him more so than anybody. Right. You know, just to you know, you gotta get him gotta get him in the right frame of mind. You know what I mean? You gotta you know, he's gotta play, you know, and yeah, play well. Okay. It's it's important. It's important to play well. You know, obviously, you know, he knows that the you know, the GM's Looking at him. Just staring yeah. at him every game. Yeah. And um So then know, maybe I take the call. I you know, I think you'll you'll see the call. I, I think it's inevitable because they have nobody. Right. They have nobody. So it's 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 gonna be Carter Hart, it's just a matter of when. So then somebody needs to put <coughs> the bug in coach's ear to start playing him more. Like I said, I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen the, the list as far as when he's not playing and versus playing, um, to to make that kind of you know comment, um, but all I know is you would think he would have to be playing almost every night, right? So, but they they need to you know they need to figure out what they're doing you know down on uh, Broad Street first and foremost because right. that's you know that's the team that <clears throat> you know what what do you do. You know what do you do halfway through the season? You know you're you're kind of you know in a in a puddle, and you know Wayne Simmons is you know is a great player, but he's not signed past this year. What do you do? What are you doing? Well, right. So you, you Hexall's gotta... got a lot of tough decisions to make. What are you doing? What are you, you going to just let him walk and not get anything? He's going to become a free agent. Yeah. We have somebody who wants to know if you think the uh, players are tuning Hextall out. Hextall, the yeah. coach? Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. I just don't understand the slow starts. You would think the start of the game, they come off the, the, the bench and, and they should be going through walls and, and just just full bore. And then they come out with these slow starts like it takes them a period to get going. Right. Don't understand. Don't understand it. <clears throat> so I, oh. I just you know, I, I, I mean that coach has been here now what three years? Is right, three years I believe. He hasn't shown me a whole lot. Hasn't shown me a whole lot. I'm not, I'm not one to to bury a coach. Um, well, I mean, three well, years is is you're not you're not thrown on under the bus. <clears throat> but how, how do you, you gave him time? You come out. <clears throat> Slow starts, you get behind games, and, and you're leading the league and giving up goals. Right. Where, where, what are you doing? Where, what, what's practice time consist of? Well, so how many years left are on his contract? I think he has one more year. One more year? But, I, you know, again, I'm not looking to fire anybody here. You know what I mean? I'm not looking to fire the coach. You know what I mean? I'm looking to... Put a fire under the players, you know, butts, and and you know, let's start these games like you know they're they're meaningful, right from the jump street. Right. You know, let's not get behind one nothing, two nothing. Let's not. Let's not leave our goalie, you know, high and dry on these breakaways. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you got guys falling down. You got guys, you know, they. they this isn't figure skating. <laughs> you know, I'm just I. I yeah, I, I just question some of the some of the things that that's going on. Like, you know, you well, get you get blown out in a game. You know, do the players need to figure this out on their own? It's what it appears you know, to me because I mean, what I saw Saturday, they were not playing as a team. All right, <coughs> they were running into each other. They were bad passing, uh, missing passes. And it was just, it was horrible. Well, here, here, here lies just another problem because you got injuries. Right. You've got different line matchups. Right. 
you know, you're you're running guys out there that haven't played with their line mates as much. You know, maybe practice is one thing, and then next thing you know, like Raffle got hurt the other hurt the other night. You know, so he had to he had to mix up the lines. You know, and if these guys aren't aren't in tune with each other, right. I would think they would be. And you know, here again, I fall back to practice. Talking about practice, what the hell's going on? You know what I mean? You got all this practice time, right? Wait, shouldn't you be figuring this out? You would think. I I I think the frustration <clears throat> may be starting to hit. You know, management. You know that they need to take a closer look and figure out. You know, is this a coaching issue? Is right. this a player issue? You know, is it a combination? You know, does Hextall have to make a, a visit into the locker room and, and set these guys on fire? He might. Well, <coughs> Ryan made a good, uh, good, good point. They only scored once, the first once, the yeah, entire season so far. So, <coughs> doesn't look like they're being aggressive. But, I don't know. Um, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough call. I mean, a lot of people that know me know my, you know, my passion for hockey and, you know, go to a lot of the games, you know, and, and I, you know, I, I was down there opening night, you know, the, the Sharks game. And, they, you know, they got, you know, people were leaving in the second period. You know, it, it's, it's, it's just, you can't have that. You can't, you can't have that. Right. You, you just can't have that. You need to get, you need to get this team. I mean, right now they're, they're four and five. They're only nine games in. Tomorrow night they they're in Boston, you know. And Boston's, you know, Boston's a tough opponent wherever you play them. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, so you're you got a road game in Boston tomorrow night, right? You know, you just you just need to come out on fire. You know what I mean? And just just get the puck on net. Just shoot, shoot. Stop with the fancy passes. Shoot the puck. Get the puck on net. Good things happen when you shoot the puck and. You know, be creative. Wayne Simmons needs needs more ice time. I don't I don't care how they figure it out. Wayne Simmons needs more ice time. Okay, he's by far, you know, a, a very physical player. Right, and he's need you need that presence on the ice. Okay, well, so. it's law of averages. More shots on goal you have, more chances you have of scoring. It's well, really if, that simple. If you're shooting the puck at your end, you know you're not. They're not scoring on your goalie. Exactly right. So um, I, I just think, and, and, and I, I just keep going back to, to practice. What What's going on? You know what I mean? Do we, you we're know, do we practice? need? practice? Yeah, we're talking <laughs> practice. You kidding me? AI would be proud of us. <laughs> but speaking of being proud, how about this mega oh, billion God. dollars? Land? Did you stay up? Did you, did you no. watch it live? No. Me either. I didn't care. <clears throat> I bought my either. tickets, and I figured I'll either going to wake up a winner or, like I normally do, wake up a loser. Well, <laughs> here's what I have. I got I got a couple things. Okay. Do we agree that that's a life changer for for whoever wins? Oh hell yes. I mean, is that is that? How could it not be? Is that? I mean, that's just got to be the most incredible thing to wake up to. That that person in South Carolina, or maybe it's a group of people. Who knows? Yeah. I don't. I don't know what the scenario is, but that's a life changer. It is absolutely. And God bless them. That's 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 pretty there's, awesome. There's going to be a lot of jobs open. But but here, here's a couple here's a couple situations. One, you know Steve Harris, right? Yes. The guy who usually sits in that this seat, seat right here, right yes. there when you know we have players. Hi, Steve. Right. So he's in South Carolina last week. Last week, right? Mm -hmm. Steve, did you buy me, you know, a, a lottery ticket? Did you buy any lottery tickets? Steve, did, did you win? <laughs> I haven't heard from him. <laughs> well, you might be looking for another employee. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he did win, and he's just not telling you. No, nah, I heard from him. Okay. I heard from him. He didn't win. No, he was on vacation. <laughs> I, I'm just like, wow. So, you know, tonight... Yes. You got you got the Powerball power worth, worth 600 over six hundred million dollars. Six hundred and twenty million. I mean, here we go, back to back. Like, I mean, these are life changing situations. Yeah. Well, okay. So, anytime you win something like that, now the the Powerball normally starts in the millions, does it not? 
Yeah, it, it automatically play. starts at, I think, 40. Okay. I think it automatically That's starts at 40. That's life-changing for me. What would you buy if you won? What would your, what would your first purchase be? First purchase. First thing I would do is family's mortgages paid off. Set up trust funds for my nieces and my great nephew. Um, after that, for myself, house in Florida, house on the, the Amalfi Coast. After that, I'm not sure. Now, see, I would have thought you know you would have you know been out the Benz dealer or the Maserati dealer yeah. or you'd have bought you know just give me the most give me what the most expensive keys. No, family first. Then property. Well, that's a given. Yeah, then that's property. That's a given. Then property. That's a given. Family first, then property. You want to spoil yourself. Have you ever seen the Amalfi Coast? <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> because that's where, that's if you need to get a hold of me, <coughs> if I win gonna, that money, that's gonna, where I'm going to be. Are you going to be working from home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I won't be you'll home. Con, you'll control all the IRAs yeah. right, right from there. <laughs> so, yep. yeah. So, I mean, that's that's a lot of money. It you is. You know what I mean? The lines. I, I know just here in, in Havertown, the lines at the 7-Eleven and different different small yep. shops that sell the tickets have been have been just. <laughs> Jack says he's going to go on a chopping spree here. Jack? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So you so you're gonna buy Carl out, out of everything so he can retire. That's that's why I take that. But so let's bring this back to Delco. Okay. Wawa, Bruma, Wawa and Bruma. Road. They sold a yep. willi- a million dollar ticket up there last night. I, I last would night's love drawing. to find out who won that. So kudos to yeah. them. Huh? Kudos to the winner. Kudos. Well, Wawa's Wawa's well, got enough money. So. But they get the manager there gets what five thousand dollars for that I don't or know. something. It's they, I know they get some money. Um, and all they have is a machine. It's only know. a machine. It's not somebody where you walk up. No, and, it's it's, it's a, just a machine. Yeah, it's a little little uh, vending machine. <coughs> so, so I don't know. Um, there there there's some life changing events right there. Yes. Some life-changing events. What would you do? Probably pretty much the same thing. I mean, you know, um, nah, I'd be gone. I'd be gone. Exactly right. I'd be gone. I, you know, I mean, my passion's always been to, to, to live in Florida, so. There you go. Um, that would be an automatic you know, they'd have to bring me to check down there. We'll do the press conference in, <laughs> down, in, down in Clearwater. You know, buy some nice... I'll buy the house next to Ryan Howard or something. Uh, I think his house might be up for sale. All right, so I'll, you I'll, might I'll, be buy, I'll buy that one. <laughs> I'll buy that one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Buy a sports franchise. Oh, well, there you go. Buy a sports franchise. You have enough franchise. money. You can buy Robert Kraft out. You know. You know. I, I don't know. It, it's... You know, it... <laughs> It'd be nice to get to put get put in that position, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Although, okay, so some of your problems would go away. I think all your problems would go away. No, because you'd you'd have a whole slew of other problems. Yeah, but see, the, you're now in control. To a point. <laughs> <laughs> to a point. You know. You know. Then the the IRS starts to. You well, know, you got that first and foremost. You got to take care of them. right. You take right. care of them. Here you go, Uncle Sam. You know what I mean? I'm I'm on my own now. Yeah. And seriously, honestly, if I ever won not that amount of money, because I don't ever plan on winning that much that much money, but if I ever won money that would change my life, half of it would go to a to a, a financial investor. So I could prepare sure. for the future. Um, the rest, I'm blowing. Whatever I have left, I have left. So I can so. find you down at Harris? No, I won't do it there. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it there. I'll, 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 I would blow it on stuff that's fun. I know. So. I hear you. I hear you. But. So where are we at? We are, uh, yes, <laughs> by the flyers. <laughs> that would, then you can make your own decisions. Right? Yeah. So, all Ed right. Snyder tried that. <laughs> it didn't, it didn't work out too well. Uh, we are almost at an hour, so let's circle back to Eagles. Yeah. 
How do you think Peterson's doing this year? That's an excellent question. <clears throat> and my answer to that question is, I think he misses a couple of his key assistants that left. Okay. One being Frank Reich, who was the offensive coordinator, who's now the head coach of the Colts. Okay. And I think, I think he misses those guys being in his ear. Another set of eyes, just more... More good quality people making decisions. Okay. And I think, you know, he misses that. Um, you know, Doug had a great year last year. He it's, had an awesome year last it's year, tough, yeah. It's tough coming back and repeating. Um, but I think he misses, just like the players miss, you know, who do we miss? Do we miss Brent Selleck? Do we miss LeGarrette Blunt? Do we miss Bo Allen and Vidi Curry up front? You know, do we? who else do we miss? You know, do we miss? I'm sure I'm missing a couple of guys, but you know, I, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a group right now, right? You know, that needs to find themselves. You know, and and Doug is Doug's in charge, so he needs to get his guy. He needs to get his group together, right? You know what I mean? Um, I I just think a lot of injuries have have decimated this team and this next man up, you know, mentality, right? Because they they've fallen so low that you're now second third guy tier guys you know maybe they're not ready you know doug's I, not going to doug's not going to tell you they're not ready no you know what i mean he's not no. going to tell and I you i do like that about him he, you know, he doesn't give anything away um so but, but it's, like, it's obvious they're not but like i said you know we're three and four we four and four after sunday we come back home we got a bye week we get the body recharged refreshed yep. get the injuries as many guys as we can, get them back healthy, and, and you know, we fire up the second half of the season. Um, <coughs> hopefully that'll work. We shall see. So, um, I think on that note. That's all I got. So hopefully I got. Um, hopefully we'll uh, we'll have an announcement coming up soon when uh, we'll be back at this again. Um, maybe Wednesday, next Wednesday. We'll, uh, you know. We'll, I think I'm free. Just look. Follow us. Yeah, look on, on like his us, page. Like us, follow us, and and also look for. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put a page together for you know for this you know for just this, for this just for this event so people can uh, you know find out what's going on and uh, hopefully maybe we can even uh, I don't know have somebody join us. Who knows? You never know. So maybe it's just not the Mario and me show. All right, buddy. You got it. Good talking. All right. Until See next you guys. time. Go birds. Cool. Well, that was the same music.